Hey there, so today I want to talk about a few things. Number one, I want to talk about this notion of professional slash personal divide. Like there is some kind of dividing line where a person can go out, they can malign consumers continually, and people will still pick up products because that somehow doesn't reflect on you as a professional and it doesn't reflect on your product. Number two within this thing, I want to talk about Mark Lombardi and his association with Shadowline. Now, Shadowline Line is an image associated line here. So we're talking about something that is associated with the image brand and Mark Lombardi, he's supposed to be in promotions with them. Now he bragged about being a BlockBot user forever. He would talk about it again and again, which I found kind of interesting because he was supposed to be out there promoting Shadowline products. He would go and he would promote them. He would have Shadowline repost them because he also controlled their social media. He also, he liked to rail on comic skaters all the time. And well, he did so once upon a time through their account. He actually went after Nasir whom we talked about recently, he actually went after him with that account. But before covering that, I actually want to show you a few things that he's thrown out into the ether with his continued obsession with Comicsgate. You can see here where he's talking about promoting a comic book. He's talking about Rat Queens. I think that this is part of his promotional work. He thinks this actually speaks highly of the product. There you have it, guys. The Comicsgate crowd doesn't like Rat Queens. So if you're not a comic a fan of Comicsgate, be sure to pick up Rat Queens. It's about a group of badass warrior women, including a trans orc, a queer smidgen, who cuss and drink and fight. Now this, I just picked up. So, you know, with its whole life lifespan. He managed to get one like because of this. And that's because the guy likes to block by people continually. Now, when you're uh, going in and you're looking at some of his other posts with this, I mean, this is yet another one about people complaining that he loves to block people. And he's in comic promotions. Comics gate whiners. Upset that someone they didn't know existed from a comic company they never heard of has them blocked and they don't know why. Even though it says why in my bio. Clearly they are missing out and I'm a monster because of it. Now when you're looking at this too, the person may not know who Mark Lombardi is, but there's this idea that they don't know who this uh, brand Shadowline is. This guy has been speaking for them for months too and he's been going out and attacking all types of people. Here's yet another post with that. Oh the whining and the hand wringing. There aren't enough pearls in the world to clutch for these uh, crying comic Gate DNCs. I've blocked them all. Clearly that's the weakness because it drives them insane. What a horrible thing I've done, preventing them from having access to me. His nine likes. Can you imagine how many things that this uh, causes uh, sales loss for? Because this guy goes out and represents a brand. That's the thing within this. I'll actually have myself spotlighted in one of these too. And it's crazy because this guy goes out and pretends that, oh, I I'm just doing it on my account. Now the craziest thing, when you see this, this guy has actually been tacking Donald DeLay. He's been doing so in the name, of course, of, um, of Shadowline, but also in the name of comic books. He's been talking about gatekeeping. He also, within that, he talked about how, hey, you know, on your social media, anybody that speaks up, I'm glad I can block bot them too, you know, because that's the way you should play. But yet again, comic promotions. You can see uh, Comic Artist Pro Secrets talking about it. Nasir here, he actually cussed me out on the Shadow Line company account and blocks tens of thousands of consumers. So you see this, and I'm going to cover this itself because you can argue that that's his account, but wow, he crossed the line. And remember, Shadow Line is gone now on Twitter because of this guy. This is what happens when you have these people that continually rail this way because they are in 
indeed representing a brand. You see people talking about it over and over again. I'm not going to buy Shadowline comic books, you know? And you can see this guy, too. You know, he's talking about his job. Ah, oh, bah, why let facts get in the way, you know, here? Ah, oh, but I'm terrible at my job, you know? I'd like to uh, see if any one of them knows what my job is and how much I get paid for it. Like, that matters. Your job is promoting comic books here. You know, he says that. Post stuff and maintain their social media accounts. I occasionally, rarely write a press release or create content for their websites. So you can see this guy, again, bragging about blocking people all the time. And I say that, you know, so here's my post where he's saying, a reminder that the comics hate crowd hates you blocking them. You know, 20 likes and three week retweets later, and they're still running to my employer because I blocked them. Yeah, you know, when you do that, if you notice within this here, this post actually showcases two things. As I say later on, right here, this guy is posting with the shadow gate, or the shadow line, rather, uh, set up with Comics Gate. And when he's talking about this stuff, he's getting reposted. You know, he's branding with himself, essentially. You know, he is reposting himself. Well, if these things are the things that are supposed to represent a brand, if you can't see them, that's awful. And if he represents that, well, that's awful too. You know, he's still continuing on about how, you know, the shadow line page hasn't blocked anyone, just me, and so on. Now, here's an interesting incident that does indeed reflect how this goes over to Shadowline. And nothing happened because of this, too. You see Nasir talking here. I get my uh, business degree next month. Are you guys hiring? Talking to Image Comics. And Shadowline responded, does your business degree come with a minor in stop complaining to publishers about comic creators like the uh, the mighty layman, talking about layman here, who call out comics gate nitwits for spreading hate? Not a good look, kid. We'll pass. You see Mark Lombardi talking about this gatekeeping people out of the industry. So you see exactly what that looks like, and you see the response here. I don't spread any hate. This tweet was almost a month old. You never considered me, but you're replying now to try and make some insult. So you can see it respond. It's a good response there. You know, I honestly wanted to check out Chu from Image Comics, but this is how your creators feel about me. You know, I, you can see Layman there. I sure would. F those comic gate losers. And you can see this response here. If you self-identify with the uh, comics gate crowd, then uh, you're going to find that most comic pros or creators agree with John. We don't need that sort of toxicity in our industry. And we're certainly not looking to hire folks like that, even with business degrees. So you can see this. This is image comics speaking. You have these people behind the scenes talking. This is why it's a problem out there when people are like that. There is no separation of their mindset when they go out and attack consumers. And they very much are speaking for industry because they are in positions of prominence. That's something a lot of people forget within this. They say, hi, why do these people matter? This is just a guy in promotions. Well, it's also a guy that runs the social media accounts. And he's talking about, hey, you can't have a job here. Now, when this comes up, of course, Eric Larson, all he has to say within this is I think maybe Mark Lombardi might want to post as Mark Lombardi or make it clear that it's Mark Lombardi whenever you post. When posting a shadow line or a shadow line comic, it does make it seem like you're tweeting in a more official capacity. Well, that's because he's tweeting in a more official capacity. He's attacking somebody and he's showing you what this looks like behind the scenes. This is the problem here. These people attack consumers regularly. They gatekeep people out of the industry because they want professionalism and they want decent products. They have been put in positions of prominence and the only way to starve that out is to take your money away from it because there is no separation of product or professional within that and their personal feelings because all of that, it's entwined. And well, you see exactly what they think about you. So anyhow, when you look at this kind of stuff, what 
do you think about it? I mean, I know that this way of thinking here, it finally cost Mark Lombardi his job with that. Shadowline is no more on Twitter. They're gone. I mean, they are defunct. And that's because this guy continued that over and over. Also, interestingly, he had in his description how he was proudly uh, blocked by Ethan Van Sciver. Poof, that disappeared. It also talked about him being with promotions with Shadowline. Poof, that's gone too. But I'm sure that he still has work within a lot of that. And you see all of these gatekeepers that flock around him. So it tells you exactly the mentality that's being courted with these people, wherein they're attacking people that want into the professional ranks. But not only that, they're attacking consumers. They're attacking people like you and I, thinking that they somehow hold sway over you. The people that matter within this are the people that buy your products. If you don't sell any products, well, when they languish on shelves, when you cause LCSs to go out of business, when you cost pros money, maybe somebody will start thinking about that. But before then, you know, really somebody needs to step in because by the time these people think about it, it might be too late. So anyhow, tell me what you think. Thank you.